Another thing that you can do to cope with these depressed or anxiety thoughts um, is you can write your thoughts down. Now, I don't think I've ever wrote my thoughts down, but I know a lot of people have, and I know it helps with a lot of people. I'm more of a talker, so I would just grab somebody. Like, I don't shy away with that. I'd grab somebody and I'd just tell them on how I exactly feel. Um, so if you're that person and you can just tell someone that this is how I feel, because when it's in your mind, you're, it's not becoming logical. What, what's happening here is it's not coming out in the open and it's not becoming real. So when it's just in your in your brain, it's not real. It's what you perceiving. It's how you perceiving the stress. It's how you are going back in time into that time where there was some sort of you know emotional impact within your life, some event that's that really making that made you feel depressed then and making you feel depressed now. So it's not real. But once you speak it out, you understand that it's become it'll become present. It'll become like it's in this time. And then you will see that this ain't real, you know, whether it's the future or the past. So talking to someone is very helpful. And if you write it down, that will also become real then because you'll read it and you'll be like, hold up, this don't make sense. Right now, this doesn't exist. And the more you do it, so the more you write it down, the more you speak about it. Once you speak about it more and more, or even write it down more and more, you'd be able to figure out what is the past, future and present. So you'd be able to understand that that was the past, this is the present now, or if there's something stressing you about the future, you'd understand that that's the future, this is the present. And what you do in the present will change your future. So present is what we need to focus on and to get you back into the present, either share, talk about it, or write it down, it helps. Now, if you do speak to somebody about it, it obviously needs to be somebody that you can trust, family, friends, and somebody that will keep it confidential. Maybe someone that's not sometimes in your own circle, that doesn't know your own circle, so they're not gonna tell your own circle anyway. So somebody that you can trust is good to speak to about, and obviously someone that doesn't drink or take drugs. I know it's a simple thing to understand, but we do sometimes make that mistake where we think, you know what, it's all right, you know, these are the only kind of people we kind of know, but you know, you have to find somebody that doesn't drink or take any drugs and speak to them about it. And I think they will be your biggest help at the time when you need to just speak out your emotions and how you feel at the time. 